safe and secure learning environment for our students and staff is a top priority for the Baltimore County Public Schools as we continue to improve ways to ensure personal well-being and student achievement. Every single day in Baltimore County Public Schools, there's an incident that we prevent because we have a system in place where kids will share incidents with us as school administrators, where we have teachers who will share incidents with school administrators. But then the Baltimore County community, our parents, our, our elected officials, all of the folks who comprise Baltimore County will share incidents with us. The Department of School Safety and Security was created to ensure that all students and staff and our teachers were safe and secure. As part of that department, we have a three-pronged approach, that being safety, security, and student behavior. Our school system has been proactive in establishing solid and well-tested programs, procedures, and protocols. However, the recent wave of school shootings and other forms of interpersonal violence have uncovered the need for preparedness for a much broader range of emergencies. And we are responding, enhancing and updating the safety and security features in all of our schools. We are fortunate to have strong partnerships that support us in our efforts to maintain a safe and secure learning environment. Baltimore County is ahead of the nation on this issue of school security. We've invested more, our technology is broader, and your, your keyboard crime fighters and other techs are making our community a safer place. Every school in our system has a standardized emergency plan, but each plan is customized to that particular school and its needs. The school system has been, uh, has been really responsive in terms of our needs. Uh, we've uh, held a meeting with uh, the school security office. Uh, they've come out. They're uh, looking at our building, trying to determine, given the structure of the building, given the design of the building, what additional things we might be able to do. The broad spectrum of security measures in place in our schools includes staffing security personnel for second and third shifts, providing 24-hour security details during and after school hours, updating our high school and middle school security cameras, instituting a thorough system of ID checks that include visitor ID checks as well, securing entrances and exits with buzzer systems, the use of metal detecting wands in appropriate situations, checking on offices, schools, and bus facilities, securing areas when appropriate to make sure our students and staff are safe, as well as reporting on security liabilities and calling on police for assistance. Our Critical Incident Response and School Emergency Management Guide incorporates strategies for preparedness, response, and recovery for a variety of emergency situations. It covers four universal responses to incidents such as evacuations, alert status, lockdown, and severe weather. Our Department of School Safety and Security has developed a comprehensive strategy aimed at ensuring the safety of our students and staff. It includes behavior and emergency management through our critical incidents response training, our Students Against Destructive Decisions program that helps them make better decisions and lead safer lives, as well as our health education, gang awareness, and drug and alcohol prevention and intervention programs. Our school resource officer program not only increases a law enforcement presence in our schools, but also provides teaching and mentoring opportunities through programs such as DARE, JOINS, and gang awareness programs such as GREAT. We would hope that the students would feel comfortable coming to the um, SROs and giving them information as it may pertain to some uh, situations that may be happening in the schools and the community. Uh, and as well as trusting them uh, because we also like the SRO to be mentors in the schools as well. Our expectations for student behavior are documented in our student handbook which covers issues such as developing positive behavior interventions and support, school codes of conduct, character education, anti-violence and anti-bullying methods and programs, cooperative discipline, interventions and appeals, conflict resolution and anger management, 
and methods of handling disciplinary issues. We also make sure that our school administrators and staff receive the most up-to-date training in ways to handle a broad range of emergencies. Academics is our goal, and before we can get to the academics, students, adults, and pretty much the whole building needs to feel safe. Our Safety and Emergency Management Steering Committee continues to develop additional response emergency and safety management protocols and procedures, plan and coordinate critical incidents response trainings, review, evaluate, and recommend new reporting systems, visitor review systems, use of social media, and alert systems. In our continuing efforts to ensure the safety and security of our students, staff, and schools, and meet the challenges of addressing new and different emergencies, we are looking to broaden our tools and increase input by instituting a universal ID system for all school employees and students connected to a one-card system that can be used for attendance, meal purchasing, doors, and payroll instituting a visitor identification system in all schools, installing security cameras in all elementary and special education schools, looking at open space areas for safety and security, holding collaborative meetings with our internal and external partners to identify and address security issues and concerns, visiting other systems security departments to discover additional effective security procedures, programs, and protocols, assessing additional information and funding for anti-violence initiatives, reviewing numerous public comments and suggestions in an effort to engage the broader community, enhancing our existing partnerships and develop new ones, emphasizing strategic planning at the system and department levels and providing ongoing professional development to ensure that our school personnel are equipped with the knowledge and resources to handle any emergency. As a Baltimore County public school parent, I'm extremely grateful for the Baltimore County efforts to update our security system at our school so that we remain safe and that the parents and the teachers and the school community can continue to educate children. I'm proud to be a part of an effective and productive partnership with Baltimore County Public Schools. I can concentrate on my learning knowing that my school is safe. I feel safe coming to school every day. And remember, if you see it, hear it, report it to keep our schools safe and secure.